In today's video, we test out the ranged weapons in Grounded and compare them to the melee weapons we have tested in the past. This will allow us to find the ultimate weapon in Grounded. If you want to see how I test them, then I suggest watching at least one of my best weapon in Grounded series. But a reminder that the times I'm going to mention are the total time for each weapon to kill all enemies that are weak to its damage type, with the exception of the mighty weapons, which is killing all enemies. The only things to mention is that I used regular attacks for the staves, meaning no charged attacks, and I used a black ox crossbow for all of the arrows, as it is the strongest bow in the game. Without further ado, let's begin with the sour weapons. The weapons tested in this category were the Sour Arrows, the Sour Staff, and the Rusty Spear. Let's begin with the Sour Arrows, which obtained a total time of 2 minutes and 16 seconds for killing all enemies that are weak to Sour. This would place it in 10th place out of all of the Sour Weapons, meaning that the Sour Arrows are extremely weak. I like this as I prefer the ranged weapons to be weaker as they require much less skill to use and allow for encounters from a much further distance. I don't recommend using sour arrows as they are very expensive to craft and clearly not that strong either. Next up we have the sour staff. This weapon got a total time of 2 minutes and 19 seconds which would place it 11th in the Sour Weapons list. Yet again this weapon finished extremely low on the list and is very weak. The only thing I like about this weapon is that it is amazing for killing moths in a survival situation. This thing is extremely annoying to craft as it requires pond moss, which means you basically have to kill multiple black widows, so I don't recommend that you use it. Finally, in the sour category, we have the sour rusty spear. Now, you're probably wondering, a spear? Those aren't ranged weapons. Well, I tested all spears by throwing them, which massively boosts their damage. This weapon got an overall time of 41 seconds. Yep, that's, that's right. 41 seconds. Under a minute to kill all enemies weak to sour. This means that not only is it the best sour ranged weapon, but also the best sour weapon in the game, as it beats the Club of the Mother Demon by over 20 seconds. This weapon is simply superb. The damage from throwing a spear is insanely OP and can be boosted by the Javelinia mutation, which would put this at an even quicker time when used. Now, let's move on to the Salty Weapon category. The category contains two weapons, the Salt Arrows and the Salty Rusty Spear. First up, we have the Salt Arrows with a total time of 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Despite this time being dreadful, it does actually place it 10th on the list of Salty Weapons in the game. As I said previously, I don't recommend the Elemental Arrows as they are too expensive to craft and clearly not worth it. The only use for these is for taking out the assistant manager if you are really struggling. The second and last weapon in the salty category is the rusty spear. This weapon was able to get a time of 41 seconds yet again. This puts it top of the list once again, beating the club of the mother demon by over 30 seconds. This thing literally killed the termite king in 10 seconds. Need I say more? The next category we have is the fresh ranged weapons. Competing for this category, we have the Mint Arrows, the Mint Staff, and the Fresh Rusty Spear. The Mint Arrows achieved a total time of 4 minutes and 1 second. When compared to other fresh weapons, this puts the Mint Arrows second to last, ahead of the Tiger Mosquito Rapier. Shock. The arrows are just as expensive as all of the other elemental ones and are not worth it. When it comes to the Mint Staff, it was able to achieve a time of 3 minutes and 6 seconds, placing it 8th on the list. This is a very respectable placement beating out 5 of the melee weapons, but the staves are such a late game weapon that by this point you probably have one of the weapons that's higher on the list. Also, this weapon is barely a ranged weapon as you have to be within a 1 foot radius to actually hit the enemies. In summary, this weapon is a water pistol that helps freshen the enemy's breath. Finally, we have the Rusty Spear. Guess where it finished? With a time of a minute and six seconds, it finished top of the list. Not even the Mint Mace could stop this weapon. It won by over 40 seconds. It's just beyond OP. Next, we have the Spicy Weapons. Competing in this category, we have the Spicy Arrows, Spicy Staff, 
and the spicy rusty spear. The spicy arrows were able to achieve a time of 2 minutes and 37 seconds, which would put them second to last in the spicy weapon leaderboard. It's just embarrassing for the elemental arrows at this point. Bow users are crying. Next we have the spicy staff, with a time of 2 minutes and 6 seconds, which places them 8th in the leaderboard. Again, this isn't bad and has situations in which it can be extremely useful, like the Broodmother boss fight for killing the Spiderlings and Orbweaver Juniors. But, in terms of a weapon to take around the yard, this weapon isn't great in one-on-one -on -one encounters. If you're using this weapon, I recommend using it to tackle crowds of enemies. Finally, in the spicy category, we have the, the spicy rusty spear. Where'd it finish? Yeah, you, you guessed it. With a time of 50 seconds, it's in first place yet again. It beats the Club of the Mother Demon by almost 30 seconds. It's just a joke at this point. Finally, we have the Mighty Weapons. A reminder that all of these times are from me killing the enemies with the weapons. So the higher the time, the more suffering I had to go through. Competing in this category, we have the Arrows, Feather Arrows, Splinter Arrows and the Mighty Rusty Spear. I decided not to include Venom Arrows, Gas Arrows or Bomb Arrows as virtually no one can afford to run around shooting these types of arrows at enemies as they would eventually just run out of resources. First we have the regular arrows. These got a total time of 19 minutes and 18 seconds. I'm, I'm not joking, I lost 19 minutes of my life using these. This not only puts them last, it puts them last by over 7 minutes nearly doubling the time of the Tiger Mosquito Rapier. It also means that the regular arrows with the Black Ox Crossbow are now the worst tier 3 weapon in the entire game of Grounded. Never use these arrows, they're rubbish. Next we have the Feather Arrows. These came in with a total time of 16 minutes and 41 seconds. This makes them better than the regular arrows, but still worse than every melee weapon on the list. The worst part is that these are way more expensive to craft than the regular arrows because they require crow feathers. Yet again, I don't recommend these arrows and will be praying to receive 16 minutes of my life back tonight. Finally, when it comes to the arrows, we have the splinter arrows. These got a total time of 15 minutes and 3 seconds, which makes them the best of the three arrows, but still worse than every melee weapon on the list. These ones aren't crazy expensive, but they just aren't worth it. If I were you, I'd trash my Black Ox crossbow and never use it again, as all of these arrows are useless. The last weapon I tested was a mighty rusty spear. W where'd you think it finished? With a time of 2 minutes and 51 seconds, it of course finished in first place. It beat every weapon by a ridiculous amount. It was nearly 4 minutes faster than first place, meaning it was twice as quick plus more. This means throwing a rusty spear is in fact now the best weapon in the game. However, there are a few things I should say before you use this weapon. The first is throwing and picking it up is a hard technique to master, and even one miss could slow down the time to kill massively. You can very easily lose your spear if you throw it and miss your target, as they can be very hard to find sometimes. Sometimes when you loot and kill an enemy, the spear will drop under the map and you will lose it forever. The most annoying part about this weapon is when you carry multiple of them, even if they are different elements, when you throw one it will automatically switch to the next one in your inventory. So if you have a fresh and spicy one and are fighting a wolf spider, when you throw the spicy one, it will automatically switch to the fresh one, which is really annoying. If you are going to use this weapon, I highly recommend just making three or four of them all level nine mighty, as this is probably the most efficient way to kill everything. Also remember to use Javelinia, as it boosts thrown spear damage by 30%. Also, some enemies like the flying creatures are really hard to kill using the spears, and will likely cause you to lose many spears, so don't use them for these enemies. Overall, I highly recommend using the spear as a ranged weapon. As for every other weapon tested in this video, I would probably just trash them. Unless it's for specific situations like the sour staff with the moth, or the spicy staff for the brood mother fight. Thank you so much for watching this video. This literally took me hours and hours of recording, so if you appreciate the effort, please leave a like on it. I will see you in the next Grounded video. Have a great rest of your day.